Okay. I have to make this for Cassie. <laughs> um, maybe I just need somebody to talk to and you're just there, so. This Sunday morning for me, 9.54. Uh, this 54 year old man born in the state of Florida and uh, kidnapped by my underage mother and taken across state line and then kidnapped by the child welfare system of South Carolina from the age of three denied rights to my father or anything to do with my family only to rise up and go find out that it was probably a good idea what the state was doing. I come from a work your ass off world. Um, something you need to know. Enough about me. I'm still the angry, pissed off father of kidnapped children and stolen property over here in the Soviet Union. Denied my rights for 12 years, so I'm a little cantankerous sometimes. Um, I look at my life today and I got six kids. I got three born in one country, three born in another. One of them was kidnapped because I didn't pay a damn bribe. And Four billion dollars gone out of a bank in the Nitsk. And losing billions a day in equity all over the world because of criminals and central banks. And that'd be what I know is real about me today. And what's prompted me to share this with you, which I'm sure most of the people in my Twitter account know exactly who the hell I am and what I'm doing, or anybody else out here on this wire. Uh, you got to see the uh, fallacy of this entire thing you're witnessing on this internet. Um, the Orwellian state of the dishonest descendants of the killers of the kings be real in the world I live in. I ain't gonna preach it nobody, but I will tell you as a southern born person that was uh, enabled to see 44 different families before I was 17 years old. Um, I'm the best and the worst that America's ever produced in my own mind over here. As U.S. Army Signal Corps graduate that raised his hand for Ronald Reagan when I was 17 years old. Um, my life is important to my children and I've been denied my right to share my life with my children because of some juridical asshole that lied about who I was and what I was doing. That's what happens when uh, the state tries to put together a one fit solution. So, why would that matter today? And how do we get out of the negative and the positive? And the truth is, you can no more separate the darkness from the light or, or eliminate the darkness. And I mean, you can't eliminate the darkness. If you did, there wouldn't be any light. And if you eliminated the light, there wouldn't be any darkness, or vice versa. My point being is very simple. Um, the yin and yang, bin binary, bipolar nature of the frequency of the tones of the electrical currents of, of, of the sphere that we live in, it'd be real. And, and, and when you graduate from school of hard knocks and you've been lifted up on the shoulders of your brothers and sisters that uh, took the oath that you did, and uh, you understand the weight of the god awesome power uh, of being U.S. Army radio and auditor, uh, it's just, it's just, you know, makes you like what I am today, a guy that can't uh, communicate with people. And then you get into the constructs of the different events in my life, just like anybody else's. If you actually listen to people's life, it's just absolutely overwhelmingly traumatic because it's the waveform, the sine wave, literally it's it's the highs and lows riding the wave. That's the way I feel and the way I see the world. So I look back on what it is that I've tried to do juridically in a business and look at where I'm at today as someone that's 
just saying under law we can end usury debt poverty and war you, you know uh, how is it that what I'm thinking and the way I think how is it wrong is the question I always ask the consonant question you know why you know um, I think um, the ability to remember everything you've ever done it's uh, it's pure divine intervention <laughs> um, but I think it's also a very simple idea we're products of our environment and each human being is born in a specific time and a specific location and it's because of that very simple fact we're all individual um, at least in our own brain but then you have to ask yourself a question if there's an I and we show it to me <laughs> if there is uh, uh, the ability for you to think and hear and see and touch you see there's already five of you right there that's what I know because each one of the uh, senses of man can can have highs and lows in it and it can have different levels of strength and different levels of weak weaknesses so the way I look at the world is based on a frequency but you know the damn radio the ability to reduce things to a particular uh, to particulate matter and then infecting zoom upon the graphical interfaces that we've done with the computers um, and as I'm listening to myself understanding you know, as I'm talking people are like damn this guy's all over the place but that's the whole point I have I was born with no filters and I understand that but I'm also a victim of crime and a victim of uh, health issues as are we all <laughs> so within that um, what do you do to make your world a better place um, understand something no matter what you see someone's gonna see something else and for you to believe that you can control mentally by squawking or uh, you know, making a now uh, a sound or, or doing something visible. In other words, it's like birds. You know, how does one bird get another bird's attention? That's what we all are. We're birds of flight. You know, um, but we are of of we are the all-seeing eye. So I just I'm, I'm just in, enamored by how people's ability to be afraid of who they are. <laughs> um, for real, people are really, you know, the symbols will be their downfall. Well, that ain't really true, but anyway, uh, as you listen to people that emerge out across this web after 37 and a half years, you see uh, a, a great truth. Um, the business plan that I wrote in the 80s, man, there's a better way. <laughs> We're losing poor, more money per uh, minute uh, in, in, in the world than, than the world needs. And um, you say, well, what would that actually mean? Well, the predictive analog, uh, the, the, the predictive modeling, and the uh, quantum computer, and and and. Uh, real-time active passive tracking system and the the, uh, the global automated payment systems and all the other holdings of this, this ridiculous thing I have built it's like it's the ultimate tower of Babel if you will <laughs> and people are like well wait a minute we were told not to do that so God strikes down so we can't do it again that's what people are thinking I'm like no that ain't what he said because um, that ain't the way the history has been recorded uh, the fragments of history have been misinterpreted based on usury because if you can see it right in your face you don't believe me you try to walk in the library of congress and pick up whatever book you want and walk out and see what they do <laughs> so my point is it's the hoarding of, of information be the only r real problem we have today um, the, the cost for the equipment uh, and the cost for the connectivity is, is zero today 
as is uh, everything else because we've been zero in the accounts. And uh, the hardest account to zero would be the central banks because, see, whatever you want to say about central banking systems, okay, bankers have a right to exist in whatever form they understand. What they don't have a right to do is violate law and human and civil rights. And it's because of that, uh, the mechanisms of payment will change and they'll change dramatically, very quickly. Uh, not because of me, but because the powers that be in the world have already enabled the legislation that says if you can navigate, then you do a full stop and you say, well, what does that really mean? Well, see, Uncle Sam did it right. You know, mobility, communications, and firepower. Well, I want to tell you a secret. Um, mobility, communications, and firepower, <laughs> That's a basic human instinct. And, and the translation of, of the application of, of the things that you would teach a child. If they're secular based on one person's opinion, then you've elimin eliminated the growth of that child. So my logic in what it is that we've assembled for the benefit of the children and the veterans was there are places on this map that says that uh, a parent could sit down and say, okay, in year one of school, the child is at this address in, in this country. And year two of that school, they're in this, in uh, other words, you set up a mobile uh, school, but, but literally it's, it's cross-country mobile and it's cross-county mobile, or it's cross wherever. So, so the point B is, if you count up the curriculum, it would be so many courses in so many things. Well, instead of putting them there with the damn textual context and listening to somebody rant and rave in a damn environment that's not really conducive to learning other than uh, implementing peer pressure and, and, and social groups, which are kind of alien to me because uh, social groups were strictly family in the world that I read about the republic that I grew up in. Uh, you want to understand how to stop the world if you don't believe in s socialism or communism then stop using their damn systems because the banking systems uh, centralized, the communication systems centralized, the accountability system systems centralized so the inverted pyramid be real and what I know today is, is Donald J. Trump understands that and I've said it before and I'll say it again as, a, as an auditor uh, the, the world right now needs about 300 Donald Trumps. And I don't care what none of your fake pseudoscientists or any of you idiots running the world today think, okay? I know what the data says, and that's what I've been paid a whole lot of money to tell you. Um, but, 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 you know, at what point d d does a man hold to his beliefs when he's witnessing crimes? that are going unabated and profits are being exchanged because of those crimes. See, that's the whole point I'm trying to make is people are profiting from the suffering of other human beings. And uh, just can't do that. So I'm going to be quiet now and uh, leave a final thought for Miss Cassidy here. Um, It'd be real if you uh, see the world uh, with your heart and listen with your eyes and then the frequency of the visual spectrum of the screens are being modified um, and then the audio, audio uh, spectrum that you exist in is being modified beyond your knowledge can you stand up because we're all a victim. We're a victim of our own ignorance. And um, it really matters today because we're killing one child at a second um, for profit. And uh, the numbers are probably higher than that. But um, I'll be quiet now.